Welcome to Plaba.com, the podcast. Discover your sexual journey with Nink and Aiman. Then he thought he was the only man in his surroundings with this kind of problem. But he didn't know for sure, because he never talked about it with his friends. Which is surprising, since he has been having this problem for over eight years now, and his friends and he are talking about sex at least once a month. But apparently, it is never about the things that really matter. The thing Danny is so ashamed of. Danny has erectile dysfunction. When he masturbates, he most often gets an erection. And he is then able to maintain an erection up until the moment he gets an orgasm. When he has sex with his girlfriend, he doesn't seem able to get an erection. When they are kissing and touching each other, with their clothes on, he feels that he gets aroused. His arousal is then translated into an erection. But as soon as some initiative is taken to take off their clothes, his erection vanishes as snow in front of the sun. He then gets so caught up in his own thoughts that he isn't capable to focus on his arousal, let alone that he would be capable to retain his erection. His shame is tremendous. He always heard that, as a man, you should always want to have sex, and an erection is the symbol of masculinity. There are a lot of times he doesn't feel like having sex, and his erection isn't always present. So, how manly does that make him? Danny was brought up with an image of masculinity being identified by strength, confidence and perseverance. But because he has been brought up with an image of masculinity that leaves no room for that, he hides it. Even for his best friends and his girlfriend. And of course she knows about his erection problems. But she doesn't know the way this influences him and the amount of shame it brings him. Now, what if? Then he would be more open towards them. Then he would probably hear that they come across this particular problem as well now and again. Or that one of them has premature ejaculation. Maybe there is a friend who is less interested in sex than his partner is. Or a friend who finds it hard to reach an orgasm. And what do you think of a friend who has a specific sexual interest, like wearing women's underwear? What if one of these conversations had taken place? Then, then he probably would have felt less ashamed. It still would have sucked for him to experience a sexual problem. But he also would have known that he isn't the only one with shame and discomfort. And who knows? The shame would have been less of a cause in maintaining his erection problems. (laughs) 